Hey, yo, what's good, man? It's your boy, Jay. Uh, welcome to the Jay and Dre Show. So, today's the start of a new series we have. Um, it's called Entrepreneurship 101. And um, being that, you know, me and my wife, we are going on the first year of starting our small business. Um, I thought that'd be cool if I gave the first lesson. Um, if I could think of anything to name this lesson, I would call it Nike. Lesson number one for me is Nike. The slogan of Nike is just do it. So to anybody out there who come across this video, I want you to remember that, man. Just think Nike, just do it. Anytime in life when you're thinking about doing something new, um, something different, you're going to have naysayers, you're going to have haters, and you're going to have people that, it's not that they're against you, <clears throat> but they just don't have the mindset that you have. You know, um, when I look at me and my wife, we started off with the tent in my mother's closet. And we were talking, I said, hey baby, let's let's try to rent this tent and just see where we can go from there. And that's uh, Miss J as she called herself. And from there, you know, it went a lot of places. Um, so, you know, I spoke with family about it, some cousins, my brothers, and 90% of the, the feedback I got, it, it was positive. But you did have one or two people that said, man, I don't know if you can do it. Um, the market, the saturated, you know, it's a lot of work in it, a lot of cleaning. I even watched some videos, the same things. Not, people said it's not as easy as you think it's going to be. It's definitely not, actually. But main thing is, I thought to myself, how can I know if it's easy or not? How can I say whether it's worth it or not if I never try? So to anybody out there who's thinking about doing something, who's thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, just remember, Nike, just do it. Um, one thing I can say, one positive of it, is that it's something, um, it's something powerful about making income for yourself. Um, even if it's not substantial. I think I read that 75% of small businesses or side hustles, people average make it from like 3,000 to 7,200 or something like that. But even if it's $1,000, the fact that you did something, you took a talent, or you took an idea, put it into fruition, and you received compensation for it, in this day and age where we are controlled through a lot of different means, it's powerful to say, I did this thing to make income for my family. So that's a positive of it. And um, I mean, I, I can't really say it's any negative. It's just, it takes drive, it takes hard work, it takes dedication. Also, I saw a post from my homegirl Carmen. She said something very interesting. She said, "Everybody wanna, everybody wanna be a, a boss until they, until they see that they have to invest money in it. It takes money, man. The first year doing business, we were entering our second year. We made a profit, but everything we made in profit, we had to put back into getting more money. I uh, like to watch Dame Dash, and Dame Dash is a little out there, but he uh, he likes to say." Um, I don't have any money. It's not that I'm broke. It's just all my money's out right now. You know, I'm making these movies. When the movies get made, the money comes back in, I'm going to be good again. It's the same thing. Yeah, it might cost $5,000 to get two or three of these. But if you're a marketing right, if you're a promoting right, over time, all the money you put out, you would definitely get back in. I think of the uh, J. Cole liver, right? J. Cole lyric. He said, small town dude, Hollywood dreams. I know that everything in glitters ain't gold. I know stuff's not as good as it seems, but until you try, how could you know? And that's the same thing with being a small business owner slash entrepreneur. Until you try it, until you step out there, you can never know. If somebody right now watching this video, you're thinking about um, purchasing something to further your business, you're thinking about starting a business, whatever it is, just do it. Nike, just do it because the rewards always outweigh the risk. And even if, God forbid, you put it out there and you did fail, you can say, I tried this. But if you go through your whole life and you never tried it, to me, there's nothing worse than being in a state where you can't do it anymore and saying, man, I had the opportunity to do something different, to try something, and I never um, pulled a trigger on it. I never tried it. So that's why um, the title of this first uh, blog entrepreneurial blog, just Nike, just do it. Uh, my name is Big J. 
I'm the proud co-owner of JT Event Rentals LLC with my beautiful wife, Miss T. Um, anybody watching this, if you have any questions, inbox me. Uh, I was trying to answer to the best of my ability. By no means am I a, am I a connoisseur or, um, you know, whatever. What the 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 the, Zo, the ah, I've got the name of, but by no means I'm saying them I'm that. But the knowledge that I do have, I believe in giving it out. Um, each one teach one, man. It says spread love. It's the Brooklyn way. Spread love. It's the South Carolina way. It's the Big J way. Whatever you want to call it. Anything you, any questions you have, let me know. So, once again, I'm Big J. Welcome to the J and Dre Show. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. Please hit that button. See you soon with part two coming from a different entrepreneur. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.